What is going on, fam? We are back for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. How are you guys doing today? Please drop a like on this video if you guys are enjoying this content. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Did you know only 50% of you are actually subscribed to this channel watching this video right now? Statistically speaking, that's science. Go check that out. Are you part of the right side of that 50%? <laughs> anyway, fam, we're going to be talking about a little bit of speculation here and my thoughts on it. We're seeing a lot of speculation dealing with IG-88 being the login character for this month. And of course, that's going to lead towards is Mandalorian uh, going to be getting some new content? Could we be getting IG-11? Could we be getting Baby Yoda? Are we building towards a legendary event? And I think that that speculation makes a lot of sense, and I really hope that it's true, because wouldn't it be amazing, Cubs fam, if we have Mandalorian content to deal with in the wake of these Galactic Legends that most of us aren't super excited about farming? Am I right? Um, so while we talk about this, I'm going to be playing through some Galactic challenges uh i don't i haven't really read this yet i'm just going in here totally blind we're going to be seeing what we can do um as we as we work through this here so i, th I think we'll go for finn first so i want to make a case for and against this and um we'll, we'll start with the case against because i do think a lot of people have probably covered the case for uh the mandalorian content coming out but there's a big thing that i want to focus on with the mandalorian is the timing of this within the context of this game. And that being, we're coming up on a new financial quarter, which is starting in a month, um, that uh, does coincidentally line up with the release of The Mandalorian. So without the game considered, it makes me feel like, all right, maybe I can buy that we're gonna get some big new Mandalorian content. However, that Mandalorian content, will it fit in with what CG is doing with Galactic Legends. They are also going to be on a very similar time frame because we know from the post that CG has made that Admiral Piet is going to be released um, into a regular uh, node to farm in about uh, five weeks now. Uh, so that's gonna line up at the very very beginning. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Let's see, so we got uh, remove two sp stacks of overheat and frostbite from target ally. Okay, so. Here we go. So we got two on Basil. Let's cleanse her. So it's a cleanse. Okay, cool. Um, let's get a cleanse for Revan too. Um, so what I, the biggest thing that I'm thinking as I see this coming out is, is CG willing to release a major fan favorite, i.e. anything from the Mandalorian in the wake of Galactic Legends coming out? And I'm just not convinced that they're going to do that. And so I'm not sure I'm quite ready to take this speculation to the bank on, on the Mandalorian content coming out. Now, the case for this is going to ignore what's going on with Galactic Legends. It's very possible that Capital Games is not uh, paying attention to what's going on with Galactic Legends on this character release. They're kind of viewing them as two separate things, which in a lot of ways would make sense because Galactic Legends just don't function like other legendary events have where most people are unlocking day one. With Galactic Legends, I mean, it's possible to unlock day one. People are, you know, obviously if people have hoarded enough, they might be able to get there, uh, but it's much more of a get there and then there's a slower burn. So they release them and then they're not really widely into the meta uh, for another good while. Um, it took probably about a month before you really saw a lot of Galactic Legends uh, laying around. It took I know it took me at least a month and a half, two months before I really started seeing them in Grand Arena. And so it's very possible they're looking at Galactic Legends thinking, all right, um, we, we could do other content in the midst of this because we are... We, we need to restart this attempt uh, because we are um, obviously not going to see Galactic Legends for a while. So let's give them something else to chew on in the meantime. And that, to me, would be a big win for this game. So let me know if we're going to think through this battle a little bit more. It's kind of hard to do two things at once. But let me know what you guys think about this speculation. The login character, I, sometimes it means something. Sometimes it doesn't. And so the obvious solution with this is probably that it means Mandalorian content is coming, which please shout upon me. But because of Galactic Legends, I'm just a little hesitant to, to buy that narrative fully. All right, let's jump in here and work on this one. So we've got Frostbite. 
uh, and and uh, overheat and so because we're on a desert world we've got overheat and so let's go ahead and mark I, I think marking Finn is the right way to go uh, he was uh, he he's definitely problematic um, okay here we go pose do it okay so let's let's call mm, let's call Revan here um, we probably want to call oh he's confused oh no oh yeah she's confused too dang um, mm, we got a mark over there uh, we don't need to blind him. Let's just let's just roll. Okay. Um, let's call. Let's call. Mm, ooh, gosh, they're confused. So you can't really you can't call them right now. That confusion sucks. Dang it! Stop confusing me, C3PO. All right. Uh, let's give this to. You can only give it to Jedi. It appears. Okay. Um. Oh, she can't ignore taunt, can she? Okay. Armor shred. Good, thank you, mission. I'm tempted to mark somebody else. I'm tempted. Um, let's mark JTR. See if we can get Finn out on AoE. Give her a little extra added love. Blinder. Good, okay, let's get some AoE. You can ignore it. Take him out. Boom, perfect. Okay, uh, and now let's call, let's, no confuse. Okay, we're gonna call Zal, oh, we can't call Zalbar. Why can't we call Zalbar right now? Um, mm, I guess. Oh, can she only call Jedi? Oh, duh. That's that's a Jedi ability. <laughs> pay attention, Cubs. I'll pay you for sitting there and waddling around, not knowing what you're doing on this brand new event. Oh gosh, this is not easy. Okay, get get her out. Let's toss a coin to my Joe Lee. Get his revive a little bit more closer. Oh man, it sucks that we didn't get JTR out. Oh, look at her healing like a mad woman. We're not using the event ability. Either. That's probably killing us. That's probably killing us. Oh, let's strip her. Get that translation out of there. Okay, she's still marked. Um, let's do this. Let's give Basti a little bit extra. I just, I really want to get JTR out. Then we'll, then we'll worry about cleansing some of this stuff. I don't know if we're gonna have time to. Oh, freaking Finn shooting from his hip. Oh, you dirty man. That's Poe, not Finn. All right, off you go. There we go. Okay, we got her out, but it's too little too late. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's tough. This is only tier five, fam. It's only tier five. Man, it would be nice if they mm, added some feats to this, made it a little more interesting. I'm tempted to try this with uh, Basil lead. Let's see if Basilee makes a little bit better. Give those Jedi a little bit of an extra oomph and we'll we'll get out of here um, with that. So here we go. Basilee, Revan. It's stupid. I, I really wish that I had a relic Revan and Basila. They're characters that I pretty well regret not taking a relic. Um, mm, should we mm, should we just go after JTR this time? She's kind of lighting us up. So is Finn. And so is Poe. Or so is Poe, I mean. I get those two mixed up. I don't know why. Um, I'm gonna try a different approach. We're gonna, we're gonna try going for JTR first. Ah, that was not effective. Um, okay, let's call Zalbar. Double tap. Good damage, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we're, we're gonna get lit up here by Finn, I suspect. Um, let's do a blind. Yeah, blind is good. We're gonna call Zalbar again. Okay. Wow, she's tanky. Oh my goodness. And they're doing no damage. This is not good. Okay, let's do a little bit of a cleanse here. Uh, let's cleanse both of those on mission. We're going to toss this over to Bastila. Clear the taunt. Buff immunity, that's good. Armor shred. I'm thinking it was the wrong move trying to go after JTR first. Yeah, she's just not coming out. Uh, man, Poe is the one who's one-shotting everyone. Maybe we need to go for him first. All right, we're going to try this one more time. I'll try this one, <laughs> one more time. Okay, I... Mm, I'm gonna try going for Poe first. He's the one who keeps one-shotting people. I feel... Logic tells me to go for Finn first. But uh, Poe's the one who keeps killing people. But it's probably gonna be Finn killing people now. <laughs> All right, uh, let's blind him. Get out of here. I don't want any any funny business from you. Easy Finn. No, no, none of that one shot crap. Okay, let's toss this over to my girl. Um, let's stun him. 
That didn't work. Armor shred. Good. Good. Get him out of here. Come on. No, don't do that. Don't be like that. Come on. Is this mark gone? Man, we're getting lit up only in phase five. Come on, fam. We're just gonna we're just gonna have to bust out our Darth Revan again, aren't we? <laughs> oh man, I think the only the only option really was to go for Finn first. All right, well, okay, we'll bust out Darth Revan. It doesn't really matter because, I mean, we can't do the feats anyway, right? No, we can't. Sorry, we can't do the meaningful feats because we don't have the gear. So, yeah. all right. Uh, oh, she's still taunting. You suck. Oh my hell. Easy there. These guys. Can, can I get this resistance team, please? I'll take them. Top dollar. Cleanse yourself. Okay, pop him. There you go. That a boy. <laughs> that a boy. All right, little slice and dice, and then, then there we go. That's how we do it. This this is this is how we get the best rewards in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes right here. This is how you get it. Oof. Booyah. So there you go. There's, there's a little bit of galactic challenges action for you. So again, let me know what you guys think about the speculation down in the comments below. Again, I'm not buying it. I'm hoping it's true, but I just don't know if they're going to do this uh, together. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And as always, my brothers, don't forget...